and we're live. What was the one that uh, Kyle liked it especially? And I think the title was a number, a date. Eleven twenty-two sixty-three. The show. He weaponizes autism too. I just want to quit. <laughs> Kyle has his own his own lane where he the, of things that he's very good at. Anyway, absolutely. Um. Yeah, that thing set up a universe that was super fascinating. But then there were other parts of it that I, I don't know. You didn't like the love story, and I found it so endearing. Is that it was right? it the the love story. Oh yeah. So it's the story of uh, a essentially like like I'll skip over most of it just to get to the point. It's a time traveler who's trying to prevent the Kennedy assassination, but he's not able to go to like the day before. He has to go to like six years before and live for six years in the 60s. And so while he's back there, he finances himself by continuing to teach school as he did in modern times, as well as do the whole Marty McFly thing and use his sports almanac to, to, to gamble a bit and uh, keep himself afloat. Well, he falls in love while he's back there. And it's this beautiful love story with this damaged woman who has like her own uh, baggage and, and, and you, you, you come to like care as much about how his love story with her is going to uh, end up as you do about whether or not he's going to save John F. Kennedy. <laughs> you really do. You're, you're like, fuck Kennedy. It's all about the girl. You know, the, like, 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 like 80% like, of from... this book is not about what the book is about. Right. That's another oh, way to view it. 80% of this book is about this guy's relationship with this woman, this woman's relationship with her ex-husband, the like neighbors figuring out where he comes from, whether or not his uh, betting is going to be approved or disapproved by the loan sharks or something like that. Like the, you really want to know what happens if Kennedy survives, what this alternative timeline is like. That's what this that's what they set up. There's the rules of time travel in this universe are that like he walks to this door and he enters this time. I don't think he can choose the time, but he walks in there. It's a couple years. It's before. the same every, it's, it's always the same. the same. He has a portal to a specific day. Yeah. I and, think it's 61 or 62. And he can like save someone's life. But then if he walks back through that portal, it's undone. Right. So it, or better yet, I if you walk through it a second time, it's undone. So I go That's in, what it is. I save a go life in. and I go back and it's cool. If I go in again, like to save a second life, no, 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 no. You reset to the original. You have to save right. both if you want that to be the case. So does he eventually have to like save his girl, but it will kill Kennedy or something? Uh, if I recall correctly, he saves Kennedy and he's got the girl maybe, but saving Kennedy turns out to be a mistake. It was terrible for humanity, not wonderful like he thought. So he has to walk <laughs> back through. He has to kill Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he 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 saves he saves Kennedy, loses the girl in the process. She dies in his arms. Mm, and right, right. and when he goes back to see what, you know, came of it, it turned out that changing time not only created a lesser timeline, but it also like sort of fractured reality in a way so that the future is a is not only a let it's not just that like oh kennedy lived so vietnam actually got real bad and like we never like the cold war never ended like those i think those things were true but also like now we live in like a hundred years of darkness and there are like earthquakes all the time because reality is kind of tearing itself apart like like he damaged space time and so like the mission failed mission time. failed and so then he's like, maybe I just go Kennedy. back. <laughs> and then he has this one. Well, all he has to do is like go back <laughs> in. This is, this is how I would write this show. <laughs> he gets to see, all he has to do is go back in and then walk back out. And it rinses away everything he did the first time. Everything he did. Oh. And he has this one no, thought of have like. To redo it. <laughs> yeah. And he even considers like, maybe I'll go back and try to like have that relationship again. But then he's just like, shit. I'm 10 years older now. Like, like I was already 10 years her senior. Now I'm 20 years older. Like, this isn't going to work. Oh, so he doesn't like, bounce back with any age stuff. He's no, he, he's aging man. while he's in there. Yeah. So what year is so, he coming from? He's coming from like modern day. Like, like for, when the book was written now was probably like, okay. Late nineties, early two thousands, something like that. After so Kennedy like, didn't die. It got terrible fast. 
but not so much because of Kennedy, more because the guy who made the time machine fucked up. It right? was more because altering time is just a no go. It 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 it, it damaged the universe in some right. way. Like 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 I said, there are like earthquakes all over the world, like terrible earthquakes all the time, and the sky is darkness, and there are lightning storms. And like the streets are full of like roaming hoodlums doing Which violence. Bothered me a lot. <laughs> like if he really focused on, hey, here's an alternative timeline where without Kennedy's death, people didn't get motivated to fight the Red Army. People didn't do this. People didn't do that. Uh, Vietnam played out in a different way. I think there maybe was no Vietnam, and then I think that's the case. Yeah. It turns out that Vietnam actually got America to move in the right direction for some later problem. So it sucked, but at least it, it was good in this other way. And like that, I would have really liked, but thunderstorms and earthquakes and volcanoes and shit like that. It's like, this is just like a cop out. Yeah. That's lost the plot. Yeah. Like it, it should all be time related. Not like, Oh, the rift has caused geological and thermal disruption. It's like, that's no. how he is with endings, man. Like, they don't end the way you want. Like, look, um, and then I like, like this not end it better. And the sweetest part of the whole thing is once he gets back to modern times and he resets and we're back to square one, he decides to go to the woman he loved to her, like to like look her up and she's still alive, but she's very old. And he, he sort of sits in the audience while she's like receiving her lifetime achievement award for teaching. And, (laughs) and it's this super sad moment where like, he asks her if he can have a dance with her. She's like 80 and he's like 40. And uh, they sort of have a slow dance at this big ball that's in her honor. And she's like, you look very familiar. Did I, did I teach you? Did you <laughs> pipe me down about 60 years ago? <laughs> and because like she, you know, because like he's reset the timeline. She's never met him before, but there's some sort of residual shadow. sort of thing there. Yeah, there's some shadow of of reality that's happening there and it's this really sad tender moment that's beautiful but then like you said the earthquakes and volcanoes and stuff was just kind of a cop out kind of lame didn't care for it uh i wish it had just been oh this timeline sucks that would have been plenty for me um but i think they really had to hammer home that like there's no way he can go back and fix anything and and also like maybe going back and just like being with this woman would ruin reality. I think. I think. I think they had to like make that clear for the characters so he wouldn't go back and do anything. That's else. the he, same so one where he back. saved a person's life, right? And he had he to saved a lot of people, diarrhea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Like, like the thing about going back and changing the past is, as as the book puts it, time is trying to stop you. And the bigger the thing you want to change is, the harder time tries. So if you're just trying to, I don't know. Like, like buy some meat in the past and bring it to the forward time to save some money on ground beef, which is what that's the what original. Of, that's where you're an example of time traveling. It's an is example from the book. Me? Oh, okay. It's an example straight from the book because the time <laughs> machine. Fucking loser. Who would do that? Well, the owner of a restaurant would. Yeah. See, the, the time machine is in the bottom of Who a restaurant. You, you own a time machine. Get out of the restaurant business, moron. <laughs> what is change. wrong with you? You fucking <laughs> retard. <laughs> oh, how are we going to save money on cabbage? Our overheads. <laughs> you have a fucking time machine, you idiot. You have a fucking time. How about you go back and you invest in something and you can have all the meat you want. You can buy a farm back then and be Tyson. <laughs> well, instead, he goes back and buys hamburger meat for ten cents. I hate that. So he can what? sell super cheap hamburgers. He does he that. Got so stupid. Yeah, he sells what? really high quality, great burgers, and the prices never go up. Oh man, what's this guy's secret? He's got a, a undulating. Dude, they spent twenty <laughs> minutes on the fact that his restaurant all is fantastic. The, the I love prices are low. We gotta go back in time and sell this meat that we bought cheap before it goes yeah. bad. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> just wasting money, powering up this time machine. <laughs> Another one that that has so many of Stephen King's stuff are they're really fucking good, and I'll be obsessed with it. And then we'll get to the end, completely lose me. The Outsiders, uh, that show on HBO, remember this, where you had like an invisible child raping demon that would like frame people for his child rape and murder, and traveled the country doing that. Oh, no, and I you don't know this. No. Oh my God! You need to. All right, the, outside. the outsiders uh, isn't that Tom Cruise, Matt? No, 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 no. no. What am I thinking of? I, I'm not quite sure, but there's a HBO mini series called The Outsider, and it is wonderful. 
It is so good. I've talked about it here before, oh. but like I, I, I think it's 10 episodes. If it's not, it's nine or 11. It's, you know, something like that. And it keeps you spellbound and highly entertained for 95% of the ride. And the last 5%, you're just like, shucks. That could have ended better. But Does he do I, any, anything fun with the time machine? Like, like a good idea? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, like, like he, for a while, he does a few short trips, like, like, like back and forth. Meat related. Um, saving lives. <laughs> <laughs> no, saving lives. You know, like, like he yeah. wants to know, like, if you can change big things, right? Can you? So he, they sort I of think look there up. Might have been a girl that uh, got paralyzed from a gunshot. Does that sound right? There you go. Yeah, there was yeah. someone who got paralyzed in a hunting accident. So he makes sure that he's there to distract the guy who fired the shot. Mm -hmm. So, so like, you know, he makes sure he's there and he, he, he keeps that guy away from hunting that day so that he cannot paralyze this young woman. And then he goes back and he, he looks up, you know, newspaper article and he sees she's got a bright future. And like, like now she's been able to get married what and have children. Who isn't paralyzed bright future ahead. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> he's able, you know, you're able to look up and see like what he people are up to. He's able to. He see looks her up on Facebook and just sees what's Local going on. Local Walker you know? enjoys the movement. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just going to get up and move your legs. You know, I love walking. <laughs> oh, if I couldn't, if I couldn't walk, I'd kill myself. Oh, <laughs> is it like? Is it like the trade-off timeline where, like, because she was prevented from being paralyzed, somebody else had to get shot? No, oh. no, it's not. Uh, it, but but, but what is... would happen? is while he's trying to change the time, the bigger the thing you're trying to change is, like, like, I was, like I was saying before, like if you're just trying to go get some meat, time doesn't really fuck with you. But if yeah. you're trying to save a life, or, or it, when, when he was trying to save the person, car, stuff like that. Yeah, trees will fall in front of the car, you'll, your battery would just be dead that day, you get explosive diarrhea, like that's mm -hmm. literally a thing, like he was trying to, to save the woman who got paralyzed, it was kind of hard, like three or four things popped up at the last second to save a life. A bunch of shit started popping up. And then he tries to save a whole family. Like mm -hmm. he tries to save a whole family from a, a disaster and Murder? everything's going wrong. Murder. Yeah, yeah. He tries to, he tries to inter, intercede on a, on a, like a family murder he and he's himself. getting, I mean, he, he has to wear diapers. He's shitting himself dude, to the point where he goes and gets diapers. There's like, so I listened to it via audiobook. Fucking they weird. spend like 40 minutes an hour <laughs> buying diapers and and how the 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 salesman was kind of judgy about him buying adult diapers and him I, I i'm like am i the crazy one i've had diarrhea before but i never thought pampers with a solution to it that's you because know, you've never i've been getting really into diapers recently. <laughs> but think about it this way woody if you had to play in the super bowl and you had diarrhea and there's no way you can be sprinting off that field. You're like, all right, give me, give me the big pack of Pampers. I'm doubling up. Maybe We're gonna stay right. on the field I, of battle. We're getting this fucking he done. Just that seemed to think that diapers were a normal thing. Like, yeah, like I've got diarrhea, so obviously I'm gonna get some diapers. Like, yeah. Why are you giving me a hard time? Like, you're acting like I'm weird, uh, cashier. You know, like I, of course I buy diapers. I have diarrhea. <laughs> Like, I mean, hey, would you rather be caught in the Super Bowl in diapers or have shitting your pants? Like, would you rather the meme be like, look at Woody, he was in the Super Bowl, he's wearing diapers, or Woody shit his pants in the Super Bowl? At least then you could play it off. I was partying a lot. I had no idea that would happen. I was giving my all. But if Ooh, you're wearing so you diapers, they're yeah. saying, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. If you're wearing diapers, it's a an, an admission that this is a very regular occurrence. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're Nike style. branded diapers. Like, <laughs> yeah, you got Nike, you got Under Armour diapers contoured. But like, if it's just <laughs> like shit though. in the back of your pants, it's like that guy had a travesty of a day. But this yeah. is probably the one time he shit his pants in the last since he was a child. Somebody Whereas, hit like, me in a weird way. I was going in for a tackle in football, and somebody hit me, and I was oh shit, my pants out of nowhere. Yeah. Right. You, know, you ever step on a tube of toothpaste? That's what happened. I got hit hard. What do you want from me? Step on a tube of shit. Shot right so this guy, 
a diaper full of shit while he's saving JFK? That's this job. Uh, it was it was a different it was a different situation. He was saving this oh. family. Is he just um, like trying to be like, Mr. President, you have to get down covered in shit, and nose bleeding, like you're just <laughs> hair falling out, <laughs> just falling out. yellowing at a rapid rate. Oh, like it's just. <laughs> Mr. President, you have to get down. Bleeding from the eyes. Clothes are falling well, off. <laughs> He's if, raging. He's aging like Benjamin Button with like the, the falling air and the quickly. Oh. If you're interested in 112263 and you're not interested in reading a very thick book, uh, they did make a mini series out of it a couple years ago starring James Franco, and it's quite good. And they gloss over a lot of the diapers and uh, nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they they get right to the point. Uh, they they cut a few things out, and uh, you know, again, probably eight, nine, ten, eleven episodes, forty five minutes each. Happen? Like what other than pooping your pants or getting diarrhea? I would assume like bloody noses. What else happens? Oh Does no, it like like up? traffic like, jams, getting attacked by random people. Um, he he uh, the mob shows up and like beats him to the point where he's got temporary memory loss and he doesn't even remember what he's there for anymore like 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 the mob find because he's been doing the sports betting yeah and like the mob he, he owed so much money to like these organized criminals that he like owed money he knew the results not, no no no. he didn't owe money like they wanted their money back like oh, like he won oh. fair and square but like like he wouldn't just bet that the blue jays are gonna win tonight he would bet that like Frazier is gonna knock him out in the eighth, you know, stuff like that. Like, like he'd mm-hmm. get the biggest long shot he could come up with. It'd be, he'd be like, uh, "What are the odds on Frazier to win?" And they're like, one and a half to one. Huh? What if, uh, what if I pick knockout, two to one? What if I say knockout in the eighth? I'm like, are you kidding me? You're gonna pick the round, five to one? How about that? Make it seven to one. <laughs> it's your money, buddy. Sure. Wait, how much you want to bet? Two thousand? <sighs> Come on and have a seat with us and watch the fight. I'll buy you a beer. You know and this is Fra- nineteen sixty-five money, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. And then you know, Fraser KOs him in the eighth or whatever the fuck, and they're all like, not wanting him to let, walk, let him walk out of the bar. Now it's like this yeah. guy just won sixteen thousand dollars, or you know, whatever it was, you know, ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars of nineteen sixty-two money. It's yeah, like King's ransom. The fuck, a I car mean, cost eight hundred dollars, dude. Are you? Are you? Are, you, he just smoked us like 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 we're we're down for the quarter now. Yeah, what's like a yearly salary back then? Like forty eight hundred dollars, <laughs> probably something like that. Sure, yeah, yeah. That, so he'd do that, stuff like that, and so that meant that like those those organized criminal types had been searching for him because he he had moved around the country. He that's the other thing. It's a time machine that only goes to one time in one place. So he starts up like all Stephen King novels. Who made that the, happen? Like, it's not a, it's not a machine it's a portal right? yeah it's like a, it's like a natural phenomenon you like walk down the <laughs> stairs of the restaurant into the basement and you're you come out it, it, not in a cupboard or, or like a pantry but on the streets of 1961 small town maine you're just like what the fuck happened here and then you like go back to like where that door is you know uh, on the streets and you're able to like walk back into the, like the pantry like the stairwell of the restaurant in modern times so like he has to travel obviously he's gotta, he's gotta get to dallas you know where where kennedy gets shot uh so he kind of you know goes down to florida he takes his time doing it because he's got like six eight years to burn yeah it's an interesting story because you've got like eight years of this guy's life a little bit more than that actually because i think at one point he might spend like a year or two back in time and then he fucks some shit up and he's got a reset it's uh it's an interesting story. I liked it a lot. The mini series with James Franco is pretty fucking good. Uh, they, like I said, they gloss over a bunch of the nonsense. And uh, there's a character that, you know, like Game of Thrones was like when Tyrion gets uh, like badly scarred, but they still make him pretty handsome. Like, but in the books, he's missing the whole nose. He's like Skeletor with a hole yeah, in his face. He's gross looking, but they keep there's him looking a, not gross. There's a character in the book who also gets maimed badly. And the same thing happens in the miniseries. It's like, yeah, that's not a nice scar you got there, but you're okay. Oh, I remember. Yeah, yeah. There's a character that gets badly maimed, and it's a terrible thing. Uh, it happens. In the, Hit with a uh, cleaver. That guy's yeah, trying for, to take our meat to the future. 
<laughs> yeah, kind of cleaved in the face with a you know cut. They get, they get their face all cut up with a knife, but uh, but um, you know, in the in the TV version, not so bad, not so bad. Yeah.